<laughs> Fort Meade welcomed 37 sailors into the Chief Petty Officer ranks this week. More on that in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, changes in tax assistance services, how to get your 2021 installation guides, and some transition assistance news. These stories and more, but first we have some highlights from this week's information-packed installation town hall. We start with Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland and his comments in the wake of loosening COVID-19 restrictions in neighboring counties. Our number one priority is mission assurance of our, of our mission partners, making sure that they can execute their critical national security missions. So because of that, we're gonna move a little bit slower. We're gonna take a little bit more of a wait and see attitude with regard to loosening restrictions. Fort Meade Medac Commander Colonel Tracy Michael began with a status report on COVID-19 vaccinations on post. The first doses have been uh, delivered to uh, all of the phase one alpha individuals that have uh, elected and uh, phase one Bravo, uh, the initial uh, tranche of those individuals. Uh, I'm happy to announce that we received the second dose uh, for that population and we're going to be administering the second doses starting on Monday, February the 1st. The third member of the panel, Francisco Jameson, the director of Child and Youth Services, addressed the school board decision to return kids to school by March 1st. School Age Center will provide care for school age children enrolled in both virtual learning or hybrid learning. So if you, if you opted for hybrid, we're not going to abandon you now. Uh, you'll, you'll still be enrolled. Uh, children in hybrid learning must attend their schools on their designated hybrid day. Though. So to listen to the entire town hall, just go to our Facebook page and click on videos. In other news, the Fort Meade Legal Office announced that tax assistance services this year will be restricted to active duty service members and dependents in the ranks of 03 and below. In a normal year, the Tax Assistance Center offers free preparation services to all ranks and retirees. There are some other new restrictions as well. The income limit is $200,000 for joint filers and $100,000 for single taxpayers. You can only have one rental property and there are education credit limitations as well. Another change, all services will be provided remotely. The Tax Assistance Center starts accepting appointments on the 1st of February with appointments starting on the 8th. To schedule yours, call 301-677-9360. Meanwhile, 13 Navy commands at Fort Meade welcomed 37 new Chief Petty Officers into their ranks this week. Senior Chief Courtney Lobo from Fleet Cyber Command describes the process and the importance of the tradition and history behind it. Today I say farewell to my longest friend that I've had since I joined the Navy. From it culminates July into this final test. You know, we like to call it a capstone. Um, and in that capstone evolution, um, what we do is we're testing the selectees, but since we can't all come together with 13 commands, which is approximately 300 chief petty officers and 37 chief selectees, we have to split this up. So what we've done is we've actually de delegated this down and we've broken this up over five capstone events. The Fort Meade mess um, you know, has exceeded anybody's um, expectations, I think, uh, when it comes to running uh, Chiefs initiation season, which is usually very close quarters, it's, you know, a lot of camaraderie, not only between the mess, but as well as, you know, the selectees. We like to start off the day, it's, um, we call it almost, um, it's that inner reflection moment where we have been trying to imbue on the chief selectees that the responsibilities that come in print for a petty officer first class in E6, it's not the same thing as a chief petty officer. So we've been giving them training and we've been challenging them for the past 10 weeks. We need them to understand and they'd go through a series of tests and challenges throughout the course of the day that takes them from, okay, you're no longer a first class, you're a blank slate. How are you gonna get from that to the tail end of today and over this eight week period or 10 week period into an accepted chief petty officer. The Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Office is offering a string of virtual seminars and workshops in the coming weeks. An employer panel networking event is on February 5th from 9 to 1030. There's a Department of Labor Vocational Education Workshop on February 9th. February 12th features a federal hiring process webinar from 1 to 2. Accessing Higher Education is a two day workshop designed to help you maximize your education benefits. And on February 19th, the TAP office is offering a special presentation from the Baltimore County Police. For more information or to sign up for a seminar, call or email the TAP office. And finally this week, a reminder that the latest edition of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified, is out. This cast focuses on resiliency and mental health. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.